Hi. Thanks for joining me. Um, I've been fortunate enough to meet up with a lovely friend of mine today. And the opportunity has evolved. That I've been able to spend a wee bit more time out in nature. And it's a fairly urban place, but just off the lake and a marina and things like that over there, there's, there's a bit of a forest. And I went off the beaten track slightly. And it reminded me of a term that I'd heard a few years ago. And it's something that I'm sharing in this video, in the sense that just that just to entertain the idea of the thought and I've seen it in very many different cultures and explained in very different ways but the one that intrigued me the most is the idea of Shin Rin Yoko or it's more commonly known as forest bathing in Japan, which originated from, and that was my best attempt of saying it as it's pronounced. And what intrigued me about it and what I like about it is the idea that it's not a doing, it's a it's it's a bathing. And so many people are go through outdoor pursuits. Even people in your own the community and looking around and out walking, power walking, arm swinging. But not a lot of time is often often led or left to sit back and relax. You can picture a cyclist maybe going through a track on a mountain bike and at some point sit back, pull out the water bottle, have a wee drink and move on. Whereas forest bathing is a different concept altogether. And that is simply going for a walk or spending time in nature. And rather be in the mode of doing and pursuing, it's the mode of relaxing, reflecting and soaking up or bathing and basking in the atmosphere around. And it's said they bring down reduced blood pressure, stress levels. Um, if you look into the more the scientific sort of side of it, they're looking at uh, the trees are really releasing phenomes, I think the word is. In my idea, it's kind of like endorphins or happy chemicals. And to spend time just to sit and notice the leaves as the wind goes through them, the rustle, the noise. To notice maybe the wee insects or the bugs that are about. Listen to the birds. And just be okay with doing nothing. And I would imagine for somebody that maybe climbs mountains for a living or goes hiking and things like that, the time where they would really bathe in it and bask in it is the point where they reach the peak or as high as they would like to go. And they just sit and look around and soak in the beautiful view around them. And so whether it's not something that I would say you must go out and do this, but it's one of those things that I would encourage people to spend more time doing. Rather than go out just for the walk or to do, Every once in a while, just to pause, notice the scenery. It's 
fasten it and walk around year where there's water. There's a bit of a river flow in summer. It's the same river that you're kind of walking around and along. But at different points, the water changes, the current changes. It might fly over some rocks a bit and makes a rust rustly noise. At other points, it can be pure still. At other points, you could just hear a wee bit of a waterfall percolating down under the lake. And just to be aware and notice the different things that are going on and just notice, most importantly, how you feel within the experience and afterwards, after coming out of spending time in nature. And reflect on it compared to how you felt before going on. And you might notice there's a bit of a difference. And you might want to do it a wee bit more. And with it being the great outdoors, it might be an idea to wear suitable clothing. It's a cold day, layer up. If it's wet where you're going, wear boots or something amenable to where you're going. But even places like the beach or the seaside, being able to walk bare feet and touch the very earth that you're walking on. Something that's been very powerful for me to recognise and notice at times as they realise that some point this body dies off and turns into this very stuff that I'm walking on. And being on it and looking around it and the beauty and the even the disasters, there's a few trees fell around me here where I'm sitting. So at some point you, you come out of the ground in some way, shape or form, and the body goes back in. Sometimes it's a reminder that what really is the important things that you're looking in life, and is life serving you? And how can we leave the place that we are in a better place for anyone else coming along? Because our experience of it is only a very short, very short one. If you look at the thousands or billions of years that the, the world's been here, and the many species that have come and gone, we're a tiny, tiny drop in that, that time now. And whether the earth itself, it's still here, still doing its thing. Still going through its cycles, its seasons. It's just a nice wee place to be. So that's forest bathing. Being comfortable sitting somewhere in nature, away from the usual distractions. And they simply sit with it, not trying to do anything, not trying to get something out of it. Just being okay in your own skin, sitting around the skin of the plant. And I hope this has been of some value and of some help for somebody watching this. Hmm. <sighs>